Hi guys, this is Brandon from Rogue Fabrication. We're gonna go over our RAM rebuild kit. This is what comes in your kit. It's every single seal and a couple extra ones that we made to help fix some of the leaks. This is our standard RAM that we sell. And uh, this one has a common problem where it's not holding pressure. So it'll pump up, but when you put pressure on it, it'll retract. So we're gonna fix that today. And we're also gonna fix a common problem where the release knob is commonly leaking. do is unscrew the big top nut until it's loose. Once it's loose, slowly pull out the ram. You can also pump this a little bit, helps release it. There. So this is the seal that we're trying to replace right here. Open up the bag. There it is. And we'll Plastic piece and a black o-ring that fits perfectly inside the plastic piece. This is the piece we're replacing today. So the hard plastic ring on here, so it looks like a cup. And then you wanna put the O-ring over and push it down inside that cup. Go all the way around, make sure it's fully seated in there. Off. All you gotta do then is put it back in. Be strong. Big nut back down. Too tight, tight enough. There's a little seal up here at the top. You'll, it's plastic, you'll feel it start to smush and tighten down. You don't wanna to go too tight because then you'll split it. But we do give you that seal in the replacement kit. We only did the one seal in the replacement kit that was the problem, which was it wasn't holding pressure, which was just the bottom seal of the ram. Test it, see if we fixed it. Yeah. 
and it's not going back down. It's holding pressure. That fixed the problem. Okay, so we're going to replace the seal in the release knob um, to fix the leaking problem. your release knob I like to use a piece of welding rod Make a little hook inside there. Just a little bit. And you'll pull out the original seal. And we're going to replace that with uh, three little O rings. one o-ring in at a time to keep them flat so it won't turn sideways and then I use the release knob and I just slowly push down around all the o-rings to get them down to the bottom of the hole while keeping them all flat And you'll see them will get to the bottom of the hole past the threads. And then you want to put in this spring that comes in your kit. Just drop that in there. It should come to flush. Then you want to stick the plunger through the spring and through all three O-rings in there. And get it down to where it starts to thread. And just reinsert the knob. And that'll fix your leaking release knob.